Hi, I'm Christian from Golby's Parts and today we're gonna talk a little bit of tech about fuel regs. I'm gonna give you guys a bit of info on how to install a fuel reg in place of your old one. I'm gonna give you a bit of a run through on how to set the base pressures, fitting kits, etc. First thing we need to do is check the base pressure on our old fuel reg. So we don't have a fuel gauge on this fuel reg, but we do have a pressure sensor set up with our ECU. So we go to our laptop and we're gonna start the car, pull the vacuum hose off and see what base pressure we've got with our old fuel rig. Thought we'd give a quick mention to why we remove our vacuum and boost source while the engine's running. We don't want any, especially with large camshafts, variations in vacuum will give us a fluctuation in our fuel pressure. So with the source removed, it's relying 100% on the base pressure set by the ring inside the fuel rig. So our first step is gonna be remove our vacuum and boost source. Hose removed. Next step is to start our car. Next thing we need to do is get Naomi to remove our old fuel reg, ready for the new one to go in place. We've got our fuel reg off. Now we'll unbox our new one. These were released at SEMA 2018, the colors. So they've always had black and blue, but now you've got the option of purple and red. What you need to remember is if you are changing from a different brand, make sure they are both a one-to-one -one ratio or you're gonna have issues with your tune. If you are changing between brands, it's probably also a good idea to dyno tune just in case. We'll now get Naomi to swap our fuel pressure sensor and some new fittings and bracket over to the new fuel rig and reinstall it on the car. Naomi is now going to reinstall the uh, fuel rig. We're now going to prime the fuel system a couple of times, make sure there's no leaks before we start the car. All looks good, so we'll start the car. Now we've got our new reg installed, we're gonna see what base pressure we have. Now down to our final step of reinstalling our vacuum and boost source. Job's now completed. <laughs> 